This camera that I have here is a Wi-Fi camera which I have linked onto my mobile phone through this router. Because it is a Wi-Fi camera, all I needed to do is to provide power into the camera as you can see with the power connection into the camera and then have a router which will provide Wi-Fi so that I can link the internet from the router into this camera. So that is what is making us to be able to view it on the mobile phone by scanning the QR code on the camera. But in this video, we'll look at how we can link this camera to a computer so that we can view this camera on the computer. This view that I'm going to do on the computer is going to be over a local area network. And so there's the need to connect the computer also to this router on which the camera is also connected. I would first of all turn on the Wi-Fi of my computer. So I will click down here and that Wi-Fi, I will turn it on. All I'm trying to do is to be able to let my computer also connect to the same router on which the camera is connected. And as you can see here, the computer has discovered the Wi-Fi network of my router, which is Tech Inside Out, and it is currently connected. So that simply means that my computer is connected to the same router on which the camera is connected. So we can see that the computer and the camera are in the same local area network. Now, to be able to view the camera on the computer, we need the camera's IP address. But to be able to get the camera's IP address, we need to also discover the IP address of the router so we can find the IP address of the camera through the router. So in the search bar at my desktop, I'll type CMD, that is command prompt, and open up the command prompt window. Once the command prompt window opens, we'll type IP config and then enter so at this point the ip address of the router will be displayed as the default gateway so when we come down here ipv4 address is 192.168.0.242 which is the ip address of the computer and then under default gateway that will give us the ip address of the router so the IP address of the router here, which is the default gateway, is 192.168.0.1. So now that we know the router's IP address, we can minimize the, I've minimized the command prompt. So we will now open a web browser. I will use my Chrome browser at my desktop. I will double click at it to open it up. Once my Chrome browser loads, we'll now type in the IP address of the router to log onto the router, all in an effort to be able to display the IP address of the camera. So we'll type in 192.168.0.1, which is the IP address of the router. So we'll press enter, and it gives us the login interface of the router. So I will put in the password of my router in order to log onto the router. So I will type in the password. Once I type it in, I will log in. So this is the internet status page of my router. And because we are looking for the IP address of the camera, we can come to this point that is the devices connected to the router at this point. When I click at it, it gives a display of all the devices that are connected to the router. And we are interested in this device, the IPC, that is a tender device listed here. It's an IP camera, which is the IP camera we have connected. And the IP address given here as you can see, it's 192.168.0.142. So that is the IP address of the camera. So we will open another 
we'll open another web browser but we can copy this ip address here and then uh, we'll copy it up we'll open another web browser and we'll paste in the ip address we've just copied that is the ip address of the camera so once i have pasted it i'll press enter there is a warning information here but we'll still go to advanced and then scroll down but we want to proceed to the ip address because we are sure it is a safe a safe site we know is the ip address of the camera so we'll click on the ip address of the camera down here to proceed to the ip address we'll wait a little while for it to load up the login interface of the camera right so this is the login interface of the camera and we are required to use or put in a username and password when you go to the manual of the camera um, let me see if you can see it on the screen you realize that they've given the login username the default login username is admin as i can show on the screen right now and then the login password is admin one two three four five six that is according to the user's manual for the manufacturer from the manufacturer so we'll put in those details so the username will put in admin and the password is admin one two three four five six once we do that we can log into the camera and we are given a tip here please modify the default login password and uh, we will not do it now because we will not want to modify it now. So not now. And you can see the interface of the camera opened up right now. So we are under the live preview. So when we click at this play button, it will load up the live view of the camera. You can hear the feedback in the background because the speaker of the camera has been opened up let me try to shut the camera speaker so you can see this is a live preview of the camera i can wave at the camera and then you can see that this is a live video from the camera and so we have successfully linked the wi-fi camera to the computer when we check the side of the computer you realize that there's no physical connection between the computer and the router on which the camera is connected it's just by the wi-fi connection or the wi-fi on which the camera is connected we have connected the laptop to the same wi-fi and that is what is giving us the local area network connection between the camera and the computer thank you so much for watching this video if you find value in this video please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel so you can always be notified anytime we come up with new videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.